Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad. Many of you who've read The Parasitic Mind know that the neuroparasitological framework that I use stems from an understanding that in the animal kingdom there are many neuroparasites that will parasitize the neuronal circuitry of the host animal, causing it to behave in maladaptive ways in many cases in suicidal ways, to suit typically the reproductive interest of the neuroparasite. And that's why I use that framework in the parasitic mind to explain how human beings can be parasitized by another class of brainworms. I call them idea pathogens. And hence, that's the framework that I use for my book. So today what I'd like to do is give you an example of that. I'm about to share with you uh, a clip from Camera on Campus. Uh, they are a group that uh, documents much of the insanity that goes on on these campuses. In this case, we have Anna Epstein. Okay, Anna Epstein, Jewish Anna Epstein, pulling down the posters of the missing kidnapped uh, people in Gaza, the, the Israeli people, you know, the, the, the babies and so on. And she's pulling them down. So this is Anna Epstein, who is supporting Hamas by pulling down photos of kidnapped babies and other hostages. And I'll come back after you watch it and I'll continue uh, making my points. Are you defending terrorism, really? You guys really are defending terrorism? Like cowards. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. These people are killing innocent civilians. They killed friends of ours. Families, people here are affected directly, and you guys are denying it, taking them out, spreading hate, encouraging anti Semitism. Dude, you literally know I'm Jewish. Like, I've been... That's not that true. That makes it much better. No, but I'm saying, like, you have no right to tell people that their beliefs are wrong or that... It's not a belief. No, Condemning fucking Hamas is not a belief. Why you don't have to believe this? to think that, that raping someone is wrong. You don't have to believe that someone getting you, kidnapped, that baby is getting beheaded, that an 85-year-old grandmother is getting kidnapped. It's, 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 it's wrong. That's not a belief. That's not an opinion. And if it is, of course, I don't respect it. Why are you filming? Because what's your point? What to, to show where the, all of the hate is coming from in this campus? Most Jewish students don't feel safe because a lot of other students are, are, are doing it. And the worst part is that there's Jewish students like you, unfortunately, who like encourage them to continue doing this and they get validated by it. You don't know what look, you are reading into propaganda. Know. Sure, you, yeah, hmm? tell me, you're tell me. supporting occupation. An illegal occupation that's been posture? happening for 75 years. It's about Hamas years. And, 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 the, and the atrocities and the, all of the war crimes they're committing. It's not about anything else. You're not condemning terrorists? That shit is wrong. You should be ashamed of yourself. So did you enjoy Anna's noble fight? Now, just for a moment, imagine if Anna was at the music festival where other young women of her age were raped were killed, were shot, were tortured, then Anna might have a different perspective. But from the safety of the progressive hallways of Boston University, Anna decided that, you know, those Zionist occupiers, they're on the wrong side of history. And that's why she's taken down the posters of the kidnapped babies, the kidnapped Zionist occupying babies. So now I'd like to draw an analogy with a specific neuroparasite in nature. And I've discussed this example in the past. It's the case of the cricket that otherwise avoids water, but then becomes suicidal and in jumping into water because uh, the parasite that has uh, taken over its brain needs to be in water in order to complete its reproductive cycle. So I'm going to give you the reference and you could check it out. So the title of the paper is Two Steps to Suicides in Crickets Harboring hair worms. 
It's by Marta I. Sanchez et al. It's a 2008 paper that was published in Animal Behavior, uh, issue 76, page 16. Uh, 1621 to 1624 so i'll just read you part of the well i'll read you the abstract the hair worm nematomorpha paragordius tricus pidatus has the ability to alter the behavior of its terrestrial insect host the cricket nemobius sylvestris making it jump into water to reach its reproductive habitat, as I exactly told you. Because water is, lim is a limited and critical resource in the ecosystem, we predicted that hair worms should adaptively manipulate host behavior to maximize paras parasite reproductive success. Our results supported the hypothesis that the host manipulation strategy of hair worms consists of at least two distinct steps first the induction of erratic behavior and then suicidal behavior per se also now known as the anna epstein behavior hair worms secured mating by starting to manipulate their host before being fully mature once induced the cricket's suicidal behavior was maintained until the host found water but the fecundity of worms decreased over time as expected the fecundity of worms was better in crickets with suicidal rather than erratic behaviors meaning that the cricket needs to be completely unconcerned with its survival to suit the reproductive interests of the neuroparasite I hope you become famous, famous Anna Epstein. It's easy to say, oh, but you know, she's just a kid. She's just finding her way. Well, you're the cricket, Anna. Cheers.